Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 first round match between Ungern and his vampires and Gabi Yas, I guess, um, is how you pronounce it, isn't it? Because he's Spanish, presumably. Um, <laughs> uh, with his... Kemri, who's just taken an instant an instant Kaz off the rock, but it's regen. Um, in the booth with me is Purple Chest and Skurumetso. Hello! Hello! <laughs> so Ungern has got no inducements and neither has Gabby Yas and there you go, it's a, so it's a fair TV match and amazingly Ungern qualified with uh, 19 wins and 22 losses, what an amazing record. Oh gosh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> five, is five vamps here, yep, five vamps, one stun. Yeah, but he's got a good team. Like he's he's got a pretty good team. He's got loads of mighty blow, but you know, vampires, and uh, he's a good coach. He's won CCL before. It was just his record happened to be rubbish, and then the other vampires didn't like you know want to take the vampire team. Top couple of qualifying vampires didn't want to go, and they, as I've said before, Jim, they asked, you know, they asked absolutely everybody who was in the admin channel, and he stepped up and said, "I've got a vampire team." So. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it is. It is interesting. I mean, there's not much to the to the the Kenry team, but he's got a tackle pommer, and he's got a good ball carrier, and he's got a guy sent off as well. And he's got one. Yeah, he's got one less uh, dirty player. Yeah, so he's down two players after his first turn. Not the start he wanted. He's removed one. That's brutal, isn't it? Losing the Tomb Guardian. To Pretty the much the opposite yeah. to the start I'm sure he was hoping for. Yes. Um, and I mean, that was a dreadful foul, but I guess he's leaning into trying to get back on numbers. Mm. What's the vampire bench like? Just a couple of thralls, I assume? Uh, a bunch, yeah. Three thralls. Oh, uh, yeah. It's asking a lot to try and foul out a vampire team for numbers. But it felt so superfluous, didn't it? It's, I mean, yeah. thralls, you'll get rid of them all eventually anyway. Yeah. And when you're down numbers, I mean, like I said, probably trying to get back with just the raw numbers being even, but... Yeah, you've now scuppered yourself so badly, you're, you're instantly massively up against it. Well, there you go, he's, he's removed his own player for you instantly. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is gonna, wow. It's like to watching two depressed 15-year-old girls, isn't it? It's just how much can they harm themselves? <laughs> Too dark? No, yeah. hey, as a, as, a, as, a, as a father of a teenager, you're allowed to say that. If I made that joke, it would be too dark. <laughs> Jeebus. I think it was probably too dark. <laughs> Tory governments, then? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Let's go. Just imagine you're on Rick's channel. Okay. And there's way too much focus back towards the ball here for a, a team that was already under pressure as well. I mean, the, he's, hence he's having to sweep all the way over to the left. And still, you feel there's vampires that can do horrible things to this ball, and we're on turn two. Yeah, you know it's weird. It's weird because like he's playing like it's not against the team that can just get rid of tackle zones at at will. Yeah. Does he even need to? I think there's a vamp that's just in two dodges, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, currently there one is. dodge, maybe. Yeah. I mean, there's no. Still, yeah, there still is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I was thinking about the one to the right. One, two, three. Four, yeah, dodge the Yeah. 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 It's four twos because he also needs to break the bloodlust, doesn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven. So that that, that gaze yeah. takes out yeah, one of the Yeah, that's cut one. Yeah, because he's got dodge, so he can just cut the corner there. He just needs to activate, make a two plus dodge, a two plus go for it. It's too. I hard. mean, he can he can almost remove the entire cage with uh, barely moving vampires <laughs> and mm -hmm. just gazing. Now. Now this is good because even if he bloodlusted, he could have uh, he could have spent the second gear fight to go and bite this throw. Oh well, he can't spend Whoa. one gear fight. <laughs> oh wow! Snakes Can on the play. 
Camry getting a break there. Yeah, he might be able to get off. No. Yeah, I mean. Woo, flip okay. me, guys. <laughs> Woo! Oh, baby, mighty blow into the thrall, another one into the vamp, probably. Which is why we didn't need to foul them out, we can just yep. lose them at will. Yep, absolutely. No, we didn't stand this guy up first. Yikes. Yeah. Why? <laughs> So a completely unneeded one die, which then means your tomb guardian has to do the hitting for you, and then you don't move it off the guy you didn't stand up. I, I mean, who needs I, to cover that far side on the ball? There's no possible way a player could get over there. <laughs> no shit, that guy's right there. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you got instant two D pow. He even had time to shuffle which vampire he did it with, so it was definitely with the tackle one. It's <laughs> yeah. Mm, which of my four vampires, all of which are in range, shall I attack this ball with? <laughs> what? A... I mean, these are hard questions. He is posing his opponent. It's hard, but you know, like it's hard, right? Because it can... defending the ball it's really hard. Case, when he went the player really down, down, harder still. Yeah. Oof. And since then, the dice haven't been kind, but the plans have been poor too. And I say it with a bitterness, Jim, because I do it myself all the time. I face vampires, I want an aggressive first turn, removing things, and I commit too far forwards and not enough backwards, and they pull straight into your backfield like an elf set. And anything you pull back, it's too late, they're too slow, and they hit my gates, so I'm taking your ball away, and you've lost. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? They, they're all about the, uh, the disruption and that, aren't they? What's it? Yep. Destabilization, so yeah, you've got to. Oh, wow. One in nine. Uh, interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So I think even from the setup, we had too much focus on the line of scrimmage on hitting and too little on that first stage of every particularly strength based team's drive, which is stabilization. Yeah. I'd have taken this hit on the vampire, the sidestep vampire, first, because if you get him down, you've yeah. got a ball blitz right there. Yeah. But then there's also that. So, yeah. so you know. This is looking very much advantage ungern, isn't it? Yep. But like they always say, Kemri, much better on defense than offense. So, uh, you know. And Vampire's that. much better on defense than offense. So perhaps we'll yeah. see too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, interesting offenses. But but the thing is, I, the, the the misnomer about that is I always feel like Kemri are much better on defense, but they're not very good at stealing the ball and scoring on defense. They're better at stopping the score at all. Yes, with their big, strong things, they can just put anywhere on the field and are very hard to get rid of, unless you yeah. just engage them into not being there and walk Yeah, past true. Mm -hmm. Very true. It's, I mean, that's the problem. Vampires can fall apart, but they also you know, can remove anything that is just about positional control and stability. Well, this will be a quick replay, at least. Yep. Yeah, it looks pretty rough for the Camry, doesn't it? Yeah, very rough. Only my inherent fear of Elliot being everywhere at all times as he stays up till 3am. That means I'm not saying this is all over. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Don't say it's we're all over. We're already in uh, needing a Camry blitz or dodge uh, territory here, so for a 1D. No, I didn't do it. Yeah, we're not bothering. I think the Kem I sense a little bit of giving up in the Kem replay at the moment. Mm. I mean, this drive has been a whole pile of disasters for them, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, they've won in nine more than they should. Although the foul was horrible getting sent off and it was unlucky. I don't recall a hypno cheat that hasn't worked. Oh. 
Le Double skulls there, doesn't re-roll it. Ooh. I guess he didn't have to. <laughs> did, he, did he need to? He's so in control. Mm. Yeah. And even the vamp that went off field, it did it from the perfect position for him. That you know, it's it's safe. Man, this game just killed the chat too, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm shattered, so. <laughs> yeah. I feel for chat. Uh, it's a hard game you. to get excited about. It's hard to hate either of these teams, isn't it? So no one's like, yeah, watch those vampires get it. I mean, yeah. I, I thought this guy. I thought this could be a really fun and interesting matchup, but it's just. I mean, it's just done. <laughs> yeah. Well, the second half will be an entirely fresh start. You know, all the Kemri will be on the field. They'll actually have eleven people. Yeah. I suspect they will, you know, just take the ball and keep it away and that'll be enough, but you, you never know. Things can happen. I mean, vampire offences can get really terrible. I yeah. imagine he'll just score quickly and then go 2-0 up and then, and then, you know... And I would certainly be looking to score in two turns here if I possibly yeah. could. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And also, because then not only do you not have to keep playing, you can just stay alive. But vampires, as you say, there's always the term where it could just all go wrong. You know, three bloodlusts, two thralls removed, and suddenly you've got half a team, and they're all in the wrong places. And it's not quite hard, bad as Ogres, but they can go half that way, can't they? Mm -hmm. And it's hard to not spend the rest of the game getting 2 would by Mighty Blow, so... Mm -hmm. Correct. I'm sorry, I do love the correct. <laughs> to come back so oh, oh he scored on turn seven and oh, he went early though by a turn yeah, three, just because it was fine so very good idea he gets two chances four eight ten players Have another chance. yeah it's just it's, it is it's two sets of smacking them about isn't it yeah the vampires yeah. are going to run away and just give them three full thralls to hit he gets, he gets some hits, but I don't know. I still think it's worth it for the second, the second KO rolls, and guaranteed Tuddy as well, wasn't it? Which is good. Call of Duty Modern Modern Warfare Two has destroyed all records with an eight hundred million dollar opening weekend. Yes, that means Modern Warfare Three has been unseated by Modern Warfare Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's how have we gone fucking the, they they like the the there's like multiple versions of the game that are uh. out and so the new one that came out this weekend is using Modern Warfare 2 even though that game has existed and is a different game from a game that's been out since like the early 2010s right so they're just using the numbers again cuz yeah Millennials have no memory. It's okay. incredibly confusing. I someone explained it in detail to me, and I still didn't understand mm. it. Well, it's like Halloween, isn't it? Halloween's pretty hilarious. Where they just they just called it Halloween again after like how there's like there's been so many Halloween movies, and it's all just a mess, yeah. isn't it, with what everything's called and stuff. It's fucking ridiculous. And they just they, they just started doing that at some point, didn't they? They just started like. Calling things like the original again. That's pretty great. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, I literally thought when 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 uh, when Art mentioned Modern Warfare Two, I was like, oh wow, are they remastering it? No, that's just what it's called now. It's yeah. Called the same. And they do that with loads of movies. They just they've just remade them and called them the fucking same, haven't they? Or like done a sequel and just called it the same as the original and stuff. Like it's fucking weird. Fucking weird. So I should say goodnight to my son. 
you going to go? Yes, I like that. Absolutely yeah. pinnacle. The Call of Duty play bears might be able to count as double digits, but why chance it? <laughs> Can't you call them, you know, Modern Warfare Red or Modern Warfare Alpha Beta Elite Plus? Oh, I think they've done that too. Is the problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess to be fair, they made Have that you... many Call of Duty games. It's, it's getting yeah. difficult to call them anything. Right. So second half. Got Here we go. Like the... PC's fresh start now. Yeah, on behalf of the Camry, I'm wishing them some good dice here. A nice kickoff result, or at least something, a bad first turn for the Vampires. Something to give them a little edge into this game. And it's 11 aside. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Super interesting. He is, it looks like he's going for the uh, the power top. Very much uh, to Skuro's taste that I hear. <laughs> with all th with three Tomb Guardians up on the line, saying, come on then, deal with this. All that guard, no way to shut it down, right? I mean, with the stand firm one centre, I mean, I think he's making the best use of what he's got. Um, my concern would be, should the other one be mobile in the backfield? Because it's possible to tie those three up and zoom down a flank, which is what I'd be looking to do. You don't yeah. need to tie all three, you tie up the two no, over the side that you're going down and leave the other one alone. Until okay. I'm victorious. And I will defend. And obviously you go down the side where I there isn't defend. the Tomb Guardian rather than the one where there is. So I'd just have liked to see one central, but I don't mind the three at the front. Which is why we've only got a vampire on them. He's not going to try and take them on. Well, surprise, surprise. Now, with that very deep kick, going straight up a side would have been quite tricky here. Um, but I don't like the symmetrical setup. I would have wanted to pressure one side, and it would have been the side without the Tomb Guardian. Mm, well, thank you very much, Titor Walk, for, 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 well, not staying fantastic, becoming fantastic and subscribing. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I think it's Tito Ewok. Or... I was going to say, I think it's Tito Ewok. Or it could be tit o walk it tit o e walk like you know like an e walk tit but it's 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 t and then toe isn't it like seven toes <laughs> walk. i think i think it's tito like a like a like like the name tito and the e walk e mm. yeah mm. it could be t i toe <laughs> w okay <laughs> Tit O Ewok works for me. I like a bit of Tit O Ewok. <laughs> tit O Ewok. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, Tit O Ewok. He could, he could, he could end know, this for I us. I was trying, accuse it to public I was trying so hard not to say that. Because it was the only Tito I could bring to mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah, Tito yeah. Ortiz. I have no idea who that is, so clearly not. Tito Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the Washington Beach bad boy, wasn't it? Well, Washington Beach? Huntington Beach bad boy. I don't know why I said Washington Beach. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, it is Tito Oh, Tito Ewok. means little uncle yeah. in Spanish, huh? And yeah. Ewok, since you're short and a furry. Okay. Bit like Jesus. I'm, I'm average height, thank you very much. Yeah, short and furry is like Skuro. Short and a furry would be like someone called Trific. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, uh, well, actually, well, let's see. T Tito, Tito Ewok, how tall are you? Because if you're not as tall as me, then all of a sudden I'm tall by your standards. <laughs> Please. Oh, this could backfire so fucking. The one-eyed man is king. Just because you're bigger than a dwarf doesn't make you big, Skuro. <laughs> It's not comparative, it's against the average. <laughs> Woo! All right, yeah, baby, I'm like half a foot taller than him. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah, shorty! Eat it, Ewok! I've never heard you so happy, Skira! <laughs> Woo! This is what it's like to be tall, isn't it? <laughs> you, 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 you table leg wanger for a day, way! <laughs> Indeed. You know, those of us up by six foot have never gone around asking people how small they are just to feel better about ourselves. <laughs> the it's damage funny, that always done does. You yeah, but that's because you don't have people daily telling you you're short when you're no, average I'm height. <laughs> Wanga always asks how short people are rather than how tall they are. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. 
Oh, All done with love and good humour, Tito Ewok. No one here wants to be horrible to you except Skuro, who does. No, I, I'm, on, I'm on board. He's just been I'm desperate all his life from someone he thinks he might be able to bully. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the lookout for 14 year olds he could actually beat up. <laughs> Five eight is average height. Average height. Yes, but you only if you're including babies as well as adults. Okay. No, <laughs> average height of adult male. Five foot nine. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna dig down on this. Oh we got. God. Maybe yeah, average like height of an adult male in the U.S. Because I thought, let's leave yeah. out some of the developing world. They might be short. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, so that's, I'm five a... foot, that's five foot nine two, Skurry. Yeah. Okay, but like uh, compared to a Peruvian, oh baby, I'm tall. <laughs> average height of a, Peru, uh, a male in Peru uh, in Peru is five five. Nigeria mm. five five uh, five foot five. Bleh, five feet five point three inches. Mexico, I've got down to five. Six and a half inches. Japan, five, seven. China, five, seven point six. I'm good, man. I'm good all the way in most of Southeast Asia. So average. then when you consider that the world average is five. And I bet I've got more and I bet I've got more SFL world. titles than everyone in Southeast Asia. <laughs> so fuck them all. So if you're taller than most of the people in China, and China is of course a third of the world's population, then those of us in the West must be on average taller. So compared to, say, the average European, you're probably, you know, two or three inches shorter than average. Just saying. That's how maths works. <laughs> there you go. Um, now, we are seeing a very, very quick attack up one flank, as we expected. It is the side away from where the Tomb Guardians were. There's a shocker. Um, but he has left a Tomb Guardian dodge on to get two die on the ball, which I think is all I see that looks even vaguely... Pro oh, no, because there's... Skelly's in the backfield too, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, ah, yes, there's a vampire plan to deal with that. Okay. Tito Ortiz did have a few fights with Ken Shamrock, yes, and Chuck Liddell as well. Yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, all all people of that era, he had he was he had he, he had quite a few fights with Tito Ortiz, the Huntington Beach bad boy. I remember him from like the early days of, not obviously the absolute earliest days of of UFC. But and one die on this vampire is easy, except he's just put that skeleton in the wrong place. So now he's fishing for a pal. He gets the pal! Oh my goodness me. <laughs> okay, now we are in actual game on. Just very briefly, Jim, I'm oh sure this game will goodness. be over again in about a second. But right now, yeah. there's some action. He's got the pal. Yeah. He's got the he armor, sure does. Fantastic. We are on for some Blood Bowl again. There is no vampire mm -hmm. recovery on this ball, nope. is there? No, there's two Not vampires up near it. They're both stunned. There is a sexy, yep. uh, there is a sexy throw around to get it, though. There yep. is. Oh baby, can he make a four plus with a reroll? He does easily. Flip flipping me. Got a long way to go, but and, you know. And another Flipping. removal. So all of a sudden we've got two stun vamps. Perivale, Tom Schnitz. He's 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 happy. Oh, don't bother. Chance. Don't don't facts don't have to bother Skurin. What did I say? Uh, did I, did I say four plus? Yeah, Edge, yeah, fair enough. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I, was thinking about, I, I, was, I was thinking about the average pickup of a... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a like a ghoul. Round. This throw round is a fucking ghoul on a, yeah, on a camera team. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. <clears throat> it, I mean, it does solve some of the biggest Camry problems, doesn't it? And I, I like the fact that we're back game on. I'd love to see this go to overtime, see what these two could pull out there. I mean, it would certainly finally make it worth watching after the first half. Yeah, the first half was the bleak. The first but half then... was just nothing. <laughs> By the end of turn one, what options did the Camry have? They were 11-9 yeah, no, no, no. down no, against a team that can remove things. tackle zones. Yeah, for sure. The options they had were to prioritize moving back towards the ball and stabilizing in turn one and certainly not putting that horrific foul in. Settling for the fact that they were 10-11 down and knowing that they'd removed thralls in time. But how could he possibly know those things? He's clearly not played Blood Bowl much. I'm joking. So we've got the ball, we're advancing it. The vampires are... Mm, 
We're very near some vampires now, aren't we, again? Which is problematic. Do we foul one out, Jim? You're a fowler. <laughs> yeah, Jim. Noted positive fowler. Yeah, you gotta take the small victories, Tito. <laughs> small victories. It does sound like you're advising him to reunite Yugoslavia to me, but that's... <laughs> I get that reference. No, no, that one's going the wrong way. What's... why? <laughs> why did that one go the wrong way? Hey, he's trying to tie the... the I guess the... Dirty player up, but I don't really see the value in that. Right no, now. he doesn't. Does he not understand? There's vampires all around this cage. Yeah. They may be on the ground, but they're all around it, and they're not going to stay on the ground. They're going to. They're going to do this. Yeah. Now there's already a one die on the ball. Two D, if he's willing to. Oh no. Yeah. One more dodge for two D. Oh, Reroll gone on the bloodlust though. Oh, now it doesn't take, doesn't go for the ball. It's yeah. really interesting, isn't it? Well, yeah. Maybe. I mean, this is a terrible spot for the Camry, regardless. But yeah, maybe well, it's a lot better than it was a bit ago when the vampires were one turn from scoring with a <laughs> yeah, yeah fair. Vampire, um, potatoing <laughs> up the sideline. It's a lot better than that, but yes, <laughs> fair it's enough. Big. Just in oh wait, yeah. You've got to break out into the centre of the field here, don't you? Despite that being awful against vampires. I mean, you've just yeah. got to, yeah, you just got to, yeah, blitz him and then help your power in there. Fish for a pow, get it, easy. Well, he got it last turn. Yeah. Twice, should have and blitzed. gets it this turn. Probably should have blitzed with a dude with fucking mighty blow right next to him. But he wouldn't have broken out anyway, so it's... And it's giving him a, a guard stand firm to be um, hypno-cheated. But at least it gives him some some solidity on this cage Ooh. until the vampires arrive. He is uh, very confident in his ability to advance the ball on short notice here. I think. Oh, one in nine, terrible. Uh, that's the problem in it. Not having these like yeah. tomb guns, yeah. haven't really got the skills on them. So awful. And and I mean the, the problem is is that you build a decent record with Cameron. Just as you get it, you run into things that are going to kill all your tomb guardians. Yeah. And rebuilding tomb guardians is just heartbreakingly difficult. Yeah, they're such a they're such a bad team. Like I hate I hate them. The, the well, it's a similar team. story to your um, your story with Dode and Flix. Yes. You know, the reason Camry were made so terrible, you know, don't you, Jim, about the the play testers? Well, no, the internal league within Games Workshop. Back when this rule set was designed, um, the best player in the league wasn't oh. the designer, and he played Camry. <laughs> and the designer lost a lot to him, and decided Camry were overpowered, and at the last minute added Decay. Yeah, well, they li they literally thought that the BBRC thought they had buffed fouling when when they when they made the changes, and then so that's why they nerfed Cameron. And it's like, dude, you have not buffed. Like, imagine going from living rubric four fouling to CRP fouling and thinking yeah. you have buffed fouling. Like that is insane, isn't it? Yes. Although the BBRC did so much good that I'll forgive them the odd misstep. I mean, you know, we'd never have Wrestle without them, for example, which I think everyone agrees is a fabulous skill and a great yeah, addition to the game. Cool. And obviously they got rid of aging, which was the best thing they did. Yes, <laughs> yeah, aging was awful. Oh my gosh, no one yes. Yeah. But the one thing that I can't forgive Galak for is his fucking insistence on the bank, never shutting up about the fucking bank rule, ever. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> it, it just got so dull, so quickly. Well, instantly. Yes. But then... More so. Yeah. Daily. <laughs> no, I really Agent, Agent think... was, of course, replaced by much higher attrition, uh, particularly with Claw Palm doing a lot of it. They, they thought Dirty Player would still be doing a lot of it, but they were wrong. And then high we attrition gonna was be... replaced by spiraling expenses uh, and by the redraft mechanic. So in Blood Bowl 3, when we talk about, for anyone that doesn't understand it, when we say that redraft is essential to a competitive format for Blood Bowl, we are going to be at our team. limit here for the Camry to, to score, but the dice for the vamps is really keeping a minute. Yeah. Yes, but now we're in a position where we can outpace some of the vamps down this flank, and it's yeah. only thralls that can come for us. So whilst he has fiddled a bit while Rome's burned, he is in a position to make good advantage of it now. 
and that is a really fast throw rock. Yeah, you can move nine paces, can't you? Yeah. You probably get two GFIs away to try and have yeah. some semblance of protection. Yep. Oh. oh. <laughs> is that enough? Yeah, he's eight away, isn't he, there? So you can get pushed back and still. So you can even get pushed back or one yeah. square of lateral yeah. movement, which is. It's not a bad position to be in considering how up against it he was this half. Yeah, incredible. Incredible comeback. I mean, there were some shockingly bad dice by the Vamps the last two turns to cut their turn short and give yeah. these Camry yeah. a chance to recover. And the Camry have had really nice dice all half. They've powered a lot of vampires yeah. at key times. I mean, the, the ball steel turn, they powered the vampire to get the Tomb Guardian free, 30%, and then powered the one that had the ball, another 30%. And recovered all in one turn. And the stuns, of course, meant no turnovers. So it wasn't just the 30% to power them, it was the two stuns that made it even worse. Mm. But they did have an awful first half. Not that things balance in Blood Bowl, that's not its way. Oh, we are elf walling. <laughs> not, not no, we're not. Shit. His GFIs and yeah. <laughs> the last three turns have really let him down. He, ha he hasn't been rolling like Unger in this game. <laughs> well, we do have a block, Tomb Guardian, so we can take a three die here and <coughs> before we do the score. I think I see a uh, clear path to the end zone, too. And I don't know if yeah. this uh, single column of thralls is going to cut it. No, I don't think it will. Uh, <laughs> maybe. No, even had the vampire got there, it was a it, I mean, because of its side blodge step, then it might have worked if it had got those uh, right in there. But no, this is just a sacrificial thrall. Mm. Not even dead. Right, one in 36. He's in. Boom, Gabias takes it to overtime. Now it's 50-50, how exciting. Who's going to win? Well, they've both been turned over, haven't they, on their drive? Yeah. So... I mean, this is what we talked about, is they're both better on defence. We've had two defensive touchdowns. Mm. I'm pretty sure whoever wins the toss is still going to choose to receive, though. <laughs> you know, I think you're right, Jim. <laughs> and it's Ungern. Chooses to receive, I'm sure. Yep. That's done, so. Got one reroll. Surely you can't keep getting that unlucky things. Nothing <laughs> else, Jim. Who's got the fame, by the way? Uh, ten. Who's got the fame? I never look, so I never care, to be honest. Uh, it's, neither's got the it's fame. Even. Okay. He's got. Ten players still, so that's that's definitely enough, isn't it? Yes. He's got to bang it in. As soon as he can. Now I prefer this setup: a tomb guardian either side, and only two up on the line. A sacrificial skeleton in between. I think that's stronger in many ways. Yes. Uh, the vamps took Jim's advice on having one turn that can really be kind of a horror show for them and making yeah. the whole game fall apart. <laughs> That's how Perryville. Yeah, that mm. absolutely happened. Mm. Although, also, to be fair, the Kemri did have a turn of golden dice to get the actual turnover. Yes. Yep. yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, um, oh, that man. happened then. That's... Again, that's the equity is shifting. It gets the region though, so he's not missing the next one. Well, I can advise chat as you find somewhere like under a table or in a doorway, because with this much equity shifting ball? going on, you know. well, the ball's way back, isn't it? Yeah, right in the corner. Can't even, oh. You're not even trying to pick it up this turn. Well, a speed demon team like Camry can really punish, uh, can, can punish <laughs> a deep kick like that. No, but while, while you send even the two people back, might be too many because that's denuded your front line. Mm. Okay, yeah. everyone's coming back. He's just going to run away. That's probably not bad in this situation. Yeah. Or everyone comes over to this flank. That's, again, reasonably strong. You can still advance it quickly. Just treat the vampires as elves. 
Oh, he's going to have a relay and he just might go for yeah. the next turn anyway. Exactly. It's going to be the old 1 2 and if the Kemri let him. Uh, the Kemri ain't got tackle, so. They ain't going to be able to definitely stop him. I mean, not that tackle definitely stops it anyway, but tackle would obviously. You know, could almost shut down him, couldn't you? Very high chance of shutting him down. So. Yeah. Hardly any chance with that. But here you've got to be careful about when you take the hit because the sidestep might put him somewhere where you've suddenly only got one tackle zone on him. Yeah. And then you can still risk the throw to him, can't you? Yeah, it's tricky. So I'd be going straight in front. Yeah. Yep. I, think that's the right I almost square. would consider hitting the uh, the relay guy and not him. Yeah, yeah. That might be an option. Yep, not terrible. Is that what he's doing here? It might be. I mean, the problem is he's got this guy anyway, just to love it. So if yeah. if you if you took this guy out, he'd pick it up with a throw, hand it off to him. He runs up, mm -hmm. lobs it to him, and scores. So I think you probably do have to blitz him. He's not blitzing him. He's blitzing a are random. Are I don't thing. think I'd be blitzing this guy though. No. Uh, if I'm the vampires here, I'm handing off to that vampire in the backfield and heading over to the left. Yes. I agree. Um, and possibly blitzing that Tomb Guardian with the vampire he's moved first. So he's not. He's sticking with the original plan. Uh... He's going to surf somebody. <laughs> he's going to make a surf. Okay, just to get the numbers back. I don't hate that, but it doesn't feel the most relevant I, thing that's happened today. I, I think going up that left side was a lot of green space. And I, you know, I know we meme about PC liking to take space, but that was... Uh, I mean, he can't get there, can he? That's the problem. Yeah, right? To get there, you'd have to pick yeah. it up with the throw, hand off to the vampire, pass it to this vampire. Like, it's a yeah. lot of work, whereas now he it, can just pick actually, it up the vampire. And... I was in, my brain, the in my brain, the ball was in hand that turn, actually. So, yeah. yeah, yeah it was pick right. it up, hand off to the vampire, and the vampire yeah. goes up into the space behind the two yeah. thralls that are on the two, the ones he's gone up to now. Which is a lot um, of roll. Because the two guardians are still he's two there. turns away from being relevant to that side. Mm. And now, yes. now the... Now the Kemri are in trouble because they do have to cover the left flank yeah. and they have to stretch themselves thin to do it. But then if they do that, you got... need three vampires over on the right-hand side that can just <laughs> yeah, elf yeah. the ball away. Yeah, this is yeah. a nice dilemma, isn't it? Mmm. Yummy. I think you just got to keep hitting the vamps and make the thralls win the game for the other team here. Yes. Yeah, you're so close to getting... Um... Vampireless. Vampireless is yeah. a lot harder to win. Everyone, you know, again, the Reddit thing is go for the thralls. It's like, well, if you go for the vampires, it's a, you know, yeah. they can't really win with just thralls left. <laughs> yeah. When they've got a hobgoblin team, they're not really going to do much against I, you. And going for thralls in the first half versus overtime is a very different type of game, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like you remove thralls in the first half, you're doing yourself a favor for the rest of the game. You remove them in overtime. Eh. Yeah, exactly, because the crucial things will get re-rolled and stuff now. I've got a mad plan here, Jim. Oh, God. I'm the one that's on the sideline. I'm three-plusing, three-plusing, hypno-gazing the one in front of the other vampire, and then I'm throwing it to that one. Jesus. Who's right. then three-plus, two-plusing through into the midfield, away from all the Tomb Guardians with only the super cool that can catch me. But he's getting hit the following turn. You can't really protect him. Because he can't score from there, right? Yeah, I thought it was a bit of a mad yeah, plan, but this was... This yeah, was, but uh... only for a one die. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the problem it's is with fun. vampires and no rerolls, you're not going to... This is not... A long drive is bad for them. I would have, I mean, this... have moved this thrall up by six. I would have just moved this thrall up by six. And if he doesn't do anything about him, he's got, you know, then you can just score. So, he, you know, yeah. That, yeah. that was enough yeah. for me, just moving him forward six. Yeah, no, that was... Certainly this is under-aggressive for me. Keeping, the, keeping the field... Up, the less I believe in the vampires. Yeah, keeping the field spread on the on the Camry defenders right now is, is like the worst thing that can happen to them. Mm-hmm. Boy, is that uh, throw raw gonna be important? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Gets he gets removed anyway. It's just that he gets removed from yeah. six squares behind where I would have had him removed from. <laughs> yeah, which puts all the people removing him right up in the ball's face. Yeah. Which isn't so great. I mean, that's essentially chevrons. Yeah. He uses the power of there as well. Like that one reroll is gonna get. Oh wow. 
What? <laughs> that is wild, isn't it? Yeah, it does save a space, but yeah, it's um, it's rowdy. Did he, he not fall? Oh, um, I see. Okay. He's only got one reroll, hasn't he? So I guess he thought, yep. you know, he would rather do the three pluses than that because he's not going to win if he doesn't save the reroll. So, which is kind and of it's, it was it did make that square a one in nine rather than a one in six. So, yeah, sure, why not? It, I've seen worse things. This is the slowest motion recovery by the Camry, though, but they are going to get in front of the ball on the left side here. Yeah. You've got to keep an eye on him as well. Jim said it's also because they didn't send a, a single thrall forward, which would have at least split the focus yeah. a bit. Yeah, for sure. We've gone from a beautifully sort of splayed out game, which is perfect for the vampires, yeah. to now a very, very contained one. Which is perfect for the camera. A surf on here. Oh, doesn't get it. Dice. Ball based. GG. He could have got it, couldn't he? He could have just taken the push and then surfed. I wonder if he should have done. I think it would have been better, wouldn't it? Yeah, to get one definitely so. off the field rather than just knocked over. Yeah, I think it would have been. Is I mean, there he knew he had, a, he had a follow up to die on that one. Yeah. Is there but, potato space here on the right for the vampire now? There is, yeah. The, yes, the frenzier. Yeah. Again, it's a handoff in a single tackle zone, but I would yeah. do it. Yeah, because you can base up the only thrall, things that prevent this one that. Can hit, no, that one should hit no cheat the. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, you could yeah, have gazed yeah. him, gone in there, and then you could yeah. have fucked off. And oh, then just, we... you bugger off up the right, you've got a thrall to stand on the other Tomb Guardian, and you're just gone with the ball. Oh my goodness. But we're not oh my goodness, that. what is this? This is condensing the game in a way that's not going to help the vampires at all. Well, he sort of defended his, his place. Yeah. But I thought there was a beautiful opportunity to break over the right. But that's the thing is now next turn both of those tomb guardians on the right just activate and yeah. move in and then yeah. where are you fucking going? <coughs> yeah. Like he, he might just, get away with this, but I yeah, think it would be so much ball, better. Yeah. It was a stun I could still I mean, this is still good, right? Because there's still two completely abandoned Tomb Guardians, whereas if you'd gone that way, you'd have to roll dice, like, you know, a couple of two pluses, and then, you know, yeah. you would, you would yeah. okay, you're completely away from the rest of his team, but um, this way you're still completely away from them too, so yeah, I mean, I you would could have, prefer... You could have tagged the forward Tomb Guardian with the thrall that he brought over Jim, and then the vampire that stood up only needed to resist its bloodlust and hypno-cheat the other one, and it was two plus out, two plus handoff, and you're up the other side on a bloodstone. Um, he can, he so can yes, still... it would probably have needed the re-roll, but it, I felt that was the game-winning turn. But this could still be. This plan yeah. is working out. That stun yeah. that has given him a route right the way up this side. Yeah. Yep. And he could still technically go to the right, too. Yeah. Because all he has to do is base the Tomb Guardians and they can't pursue him at all. And I didn't hate his plan. I did say he was you know, defending his, his zone quite well. And of course, if you're defending against Thralls, there's a good chance you get a stun. Or a, a KO. So it wasn't unlikely that he found himself like this. Yeah. So yes, I'm, I'm taking back any criticism of this position and thinking it was fine. I still preferred the attack because I prefer to be active in what I'm doing rather than sort of I felt this, this was slightly more passive and hope. But maybe with one reroll, that's the correct way to do it. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot it? of armor breaks for him. Yeah. Well, this is a yeah, a game-winningly nice turn, isn't it? Yep. You can still get in front of the vampire. You can get that that tomb guardian smashing that thrall, and but it's you've got to think the vampires will find a way through from this range. Yeah. So perhaps he was right, unifying the team and pushing up this. You know, trusting you'll break a thrall armor here or there and find a route through. Perhaps that was the right call. Yeah, that's the thing, because these two were out of it, weren't they? So. Yeah. I confess it, I just it might that, just highlight how dire things were for the Camry at this stage in the yes, game. Yes, yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I think either option would have worked out pretty much similarly. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, like, if you were... It, it, interesting, because when uh, PC played Andy in overtime, I felt like he pushed up too fast to try and score too quickly, you know, to try, just to try and get the game over with. Whereas if it had been a normal half of Blood Bowl and not, you know, a golden goal, I feel like he would have played more cautiously. And then yeah. I feel like this is the same, right? If this was an eight-turn stall, if you were trying to stall eight turns, you wouldn't dream of handing off that, would you? You would have done yeah. what you'd done if you yeah. were just trying to do a normal half. So, you know, maybe he just... Though I felt the vampires with their one reroll would run out of rerolls, but they haven't, Chip. They've managed to avoid the bloodlusts, not by yeah. themselves too badly, and push up this flank. So it's been fine. Yeah. I mean, if you want to talk about that, I do agree. I think I went quickly, and had I got off the tomb... the tomb... Uh, temp ah, flesh columns in those three, four turns where I just got all the pushes. If I knocked one over, I could have got two dwarves off it. I think I could have stabilized a base up ahead of that and scored from there and it would have worked. But when it didn't work, I just kept trying the same thing and I should perhaps have pulled out and tried something else. Yeah, it was interesting. This isn't a given. There was also the option just to turtle completely and not even score and trust in my plus one on the rerolls. Yeah. Could have done that, but I felt it was the right thing to do. I prefer to, to fail trying than fail sitting. Here we go. All right, yeah, this... There's some dice here. Yeah. So is it three, two? And he's got two GFIs with a yeah. reroll. Yeah. It. And yeah, pops the dodge on the two, not the three, of course, and gets it. Wow. Mm. Fair enough. Well, well I thought the Camry did brilliantly getting themselves back into a game that looked over at the end of turn one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and their turn one, when the vampires had done nothing. But, and then the vampires losing their ball carrier to a rock in overtime, yeah. <laughs> and, and the deep kick, but able to uh, able to advance it anyway. Got a little hairy. Yeah, I thought they coped pretty well with it on balance. Yeah. Well played. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand, but um, you lucky bastard. The blitz was much better. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but um, you know, maybe he was tired. Maybe he'd had four hours sleep and had had a day full of blood ball and was just was like, oh, fuck this, <laughs> just click things. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there you go. Congratulations to Ungern. Commiserations, Gavias. Thank you very much. Purple Chest and Skurametso, absolutely glorious, both of you. Thank you very much. Indeed. Got you to hear that empathy from you there, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>